What's going on guys and girls? We're here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all the mission tasks for Mission 42 which is the extreme version of Metallic Arcana. So on this mission I'm going to be taking in a lot of gear. You don't have to take in this much gear. I'm going to be taking in the battle dress, the anti-material sniper rifle, the what's it called D-Walker and I'm also going to be taking the tank. I highly recommend using D-Walker as your main attack uh, for this main uh, weapon. Uh, so you have D-Walker with a Gatling gun and then just use the Gatling gun. It does so much damage so quickly. You have so much ammo and you can actually survive really easily on D-Walker. I am going to be using one of the armored vehicles, so this armored vehicle right here. The reason I do that is because I just want to show you you can use it. It is a lot harder than using D-Walker, mainly because it can just be destroyed a lot quicker. Uh, if you use one of the tanks, you can use a tank as well. Uh, that is just uh, also kind of hard because they are slower than D-Walker, but they do more damage, but they are slower and more vulnerable than D-Walker, so just be aware of that. So what we want to do is we're just shooting at these guys. They have got the gassy thing on. As you can see, it only took three or four shots before that was destroyed. And you just want to dodge any of the guys running towards you when you're not on a vehicle. And then we're just going to call D-Walker over so we can continue on using D-Walker because he is just so, so good for this. So what we're going to do is we to make sure we've got the Gatling gun equipped and engaged. And we're just going to start shooting these guys. And as you can see, it does so much damage and then whenever they have the giant crystal things above their heads then they'll start throwing at you you can just go into drive mode and then you can dodge those so easy uh, and so quickly basically so when any of them start running at you as you can see I didn't quite dodge him that time but if they do start running on you at you what you want to do is you want to stop shooting and then just run away like run sideways from them and then that will allow you to uh, be able to dodge any of those attacks when they do that so if they start teleporting when they're really close to you, then you just want to make sure that you're not going to be attacked. As you can see, that guy started running towards me. I saw it, so that was able to react and stop shooting and just move out of the way so that I do not end up uh, losing D-Walker. And then as you can see, the Gatling gun, gun does so much damage to the armor when they have the armor up. And then it also does a lot of damage when they are just um, without their armor, when you're just shooting them themselves. So as you can see that guy's running towards me again so we want to just dodge it and then just keep shooting at them. Uh, whenever there's one in like the gas, um, doing that gas sort of thing, that's when you really kind of want to start shooting them as well. Uh, you want to stay also stay away from the puppet soldiers. They can't actually grab you when they're on D-Walker, when, when you are on D-Walker, but they can still hurt you so you just want to be careful about that. And then also be careful about overheating your Gatling gun so if you do end up overheating your Gatling gun I just have the other uh, gun selected now so I can just uh, start using that if I needed to and but they ended up having to throw those rock things at me so that gave me time to uh, let the uh, Gatling gun cool down so I can just swap back to that now and start shooting at these guys again and you just want to be careful not to be too close to that smoke stuff that they start uh, spraying out because that can destroy D-Walker because D-Walker counts as a vehicle, even though he is a buddy. So you just want to be careful about that. So as you can see, it does a ton of damage to the armor. And then also when the armor is gone, it just kills them so quickly. And you just want to just keep shooting at them. The, the closer you are, the more damage you're going to be doing because the least bullets are going to be missing. Uh, but you also just want to be careful about that smoke stuff, just like I said before. So now, now they're throwing a rock at me, so I just have to just, uh, get away from that. That's when I swap over to the driving mode. And then I like going into walking mode when just running around here because it just makes it a bit easier to go sideways and just move around a bit more. I like just moving around as much as I can because it uh, reduces the chance of them end up uh, hitting a, getting a hit on me, especially if they start shooting at you or something like that. So that is two of the skulls now down. I am starting to run out of ammo and that is where the anti-material sniper rifle comes into uh, effect. You can also just call in a supply drop and the supply drops do uh, refill the ammo of D-Walker. So that is a useful tip if you guys didn't know that. And this guy is almost dead so we're just going to make, sure uh, make sure we get him. And now we've only got one more skull left and we're just going to use the rest of D-Walker's bullets and then we're going to swap over to the anti-material weapon when that is all done. 
so we have overheated it. We only got 33 bullets left, so we are just going to just hop off the horse now and just swap to the anti-material sniper rifle. And as you can see, it does tons of damage. Now, but just also be careful about shooting uh, the. Just make sure you don't shoot Code Talker uh, when it, and you also dodge any of those things that they like. Uh, pull up beside you because they do tons of damage as you can see I'm almost dead now because of just that one hit that he did on me basically I am just gonna run over here and uh, shoot him a couple of times so that he uh, gets a bit of like a damage to the point where he's dead and we're just going to extract one of the skulls and you only have to extract one of them to get the mission task and then you can just keep extracting as many as you can uh, I ended up getting three of them out of the four. Uh, or you, what you could do is you could start extracting them while you're still fighting them. That's just a bit more dangerous because you only need to extract one for the mission task anyway. And now all we have to do is take Code Talker over to the extraction point and we will get the mission task. And we'll have all mission tasks. So that's all you really have to do for this mission. It is one of the harder and annoying missions because the skulls just take so long to defeat and they can kill you so easily. So just be aware of that. And now we just have to wait for the score screen to show up. There we go. 178,000 points for that mission. And that's all I'm really going to do for this video. So hopefully... So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have now got all the mission tasks and also maybe S rank. And now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and hopefully see you in the next video.